Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. So today I will show you how to upgrade from Veeam Backup and Application version 11 to version 12 and the steps you need to take, right? So my environment is just a small demo environment I have set up uh, specifically for this job. Um, I am expecting some errors regarding to my virtual lab environment because the virtual labs, well, I'm always changing things on them. So later on in the video, you will see that upgrading those virtual labs, they will fail. In your case, again, make sure that all the components which need to be upgraded, that you are aware of them and that you make sure that those components can be reached by the Veeam Backup and Application Server, by the upgrade process in, and make it successful to upgrade, right? Let's get into the video. Right, let's move to the Veeam Backup and Application Server. This is my Veeam Backup and Application Server version 11. This is the server we are going to upgrade. I already have the installation media for version 12 uh, set up here and let's start it up. You will see it will uh, present you with the option to upgrade. If I click on upgrade, it will then tell me some things. The first option is that I have to upgrade Enterprise Manager. Enterprise Manager is running locally on this server. I will have to do the upgrade first. Just click on the step here to upgrade Enterprise Manager. It's one of the requirements in order to move forward to the upgrade for version 12. So let's take a sec and let the wizard start up here. Now once the wizard has started up, you can see the license agreement. Let's continue. It will show you the components for Enterprise Manager. It will upgrade. This is fine. As you can see, version 11 is running locally. It will upgrade the components to version 12. That's okay. Click on next. We will deal with license files later on. Just leave it as it is and click on next. Of course, at this step, you can also upload your license file. That's fine. I am not using a specific service account here. That means the software in my case is running on a small lab environment. It's running with a local default settings. In your case, maybe you have a specific um, service account you need to specify here in order to do the upgrade, right? Make sure you, you check that and click on next. From, uh, from the database perspective, I will not change anything for now. We know that version 12 can run on Postgres SQL also. Um, we'll leave it uh, uh, just like this for now. Click on next. It will ask me, do you, are you sure that you, are, that you want to upgrade the configuration database? That's fine. Remember, this is for Enterprise Manager. After it checks some requirements in the backend, it will present you with an overview. Is the system ready to be upgraded or not? In my case, we can move, uh, move further. Click on Upgrade and it will start the upgrade process. As you can see, it will run through the steps and it will tell you which step is running through at the moment. Uh, let's um, leave the wizard and let it do its thing. Right, the upgrade for VM Backup Enterprise Manager is nearly finished. It's finalizing the installation and starting services. You can see on the desktop, it has already created a few icons. So that's fine. And there we are. So this is Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager upgraded to version 12. Now we can move to the next step. And the next step is, of course, upgrading Veeam Backup and Replication version 11 to version 12. Once again, I'm back at the setup. It presents me with the upgrade option. Click on upgrade. And now I have the option to upgrade Veeam Backup Application 11 to version 12. <clears throat> Let's do that. Let me click on update and let the wizard start up. There are several steps here uh, you have to run through. Um, keep, keep in mind that some of the steps, depending on your configuration and your environment, you may or may not see. <clears throat> Let's click on accept for the license agreement. Once again, it will show you an overview of the components it will upgrade. In this case, the Veeam Backup and Application Server and the Veeam Backup and Application Server console. Those are both on version 11 at the moment. We are moving them, we are upgrading them to version 12. So click on next and let, let the wizard start to uh, do the upgrade process. There are several steps involved here. Um, it can take quite some time. We will let the wizard finish and run. 
Again, for the service accounts, as you can see here, I'm just running VM Backup and Application with the default system account uh, on this lab. Of course, depending on your configuration, on your environment, you may have specific service accounts, user accounts you need to use. Make sure yeah, that you get it properly set up. Let's click on next. And for the moment, we will leave the database configuration that is this. We just want the upgrade to finish. Later on, we'll decide if we'll stay on the SQL server or if we will move to Postgres SQL. For now, click on next and let it upgrade the database as well. It will prompt you for that. Do you, are you sure you want to upgrade the configuration database? That's fine. It will run through some configuration checks. Because this is a demo environment, this is a small environment, there are some warnings in the text, nothing serious. In my case, I know that these warnings uh, are there. Uh, they, are, they will not harm my local installation, so I decide to move, uh, move further. Of course, in your case, check all those warnings and those, and if there are errors, it will present you here as well. So check all those compatibility issues. Make sure that you solve them before moving to do the upgrade, right? Because it's your backup environment. You have to do it right and you have to do it the first time right, basically. So make sure that those compatibility issues are solved before you do the upgrade. Well, in my case, I'm ready. Let's click on upgrade. This process will take a significant time. Well, as it says on the screen, it will run through several steps. Um, let the wizard run and let it do its thing. Well, it seems like the upgrade is almost finished. It's finalizing the installation and starting services. So let's wait a little bit more. Well, it looks like the upgrade has successfully finished. Click on finish and let's start up the console. Now remember, if you start up the console, if there are several backend components Veeam Backup and Application is using, like for storage repositories, backup proxies, immutable hardened Linux repositories, etc., etc., it will prompt you now to do upgrade of those components as well. So once the console has loaded up, let's wait for it to load up fully. And as you can see, there are several components here it needs to do the upgrade on, right? This is the, the mount server component, the proxy components, etc. This transport services for the proxy component as well. I have an XFS repository connected to this Veeam Backup and Application Server. It's doing my immutable backups. And also I have some virtual labs configured here as well. So just select all, click on apply, and let it do the upgrade. Right, as you can see, some components are giving me in my lab environment some errors. I knew this was going to happen because those components are always being reconfigured. This, is to, this has to do with the virtual data centers I have configured in my vCenter. So nothing to worry about in my environment. The major components I needed to be upgraded, they are upgraded successfully. As you can see, my VBR proxy is upgraded successfully. The VBR server has upgraded the tape proxy components as well. And the component is using to communicate with my uh, hardened repository, my Linux hardened repository. Those are, have been upgraded as well. So it's fine that it's failed on these two components. It's for the virtual lab environment. I knew they were going to fail. That's fine. Once again, make sure that you know how your environment is, environment is configured so you can do some troubleshooting if need be. So in my case, this is fine. This is also the expected result. So I, when I click on finish, I can see that everything is running up and running using version 12 now. If I go on the, to help and I click on about, it will show me the version 
and the build number, right? So this is fine and it has updated all the components I needed correctly as well. So everything is running fine again. Make sure that when you upgrade from version 11 to version 12, you are aware of the components which need to be upgraded. Some components can be a showstopper. Of course, check those ready requirements lists as well. And if everything is uh, upgraded, you should be presented again with a normal functioning working console where all your backup jobs are visible. And you should also be able to run backups from that point on. So, as always, thank you for watching and till the next time.